people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all once more to a rebirth. And I have to start thinking. I know what you're thinking. Rage, are you really sure that is a good idea? Do you really want to think? And unfortunately, I do. About getting Meat Boy and Bandage. Fuck, that was not so. <laughs> Don't do that with bandages. That's not a good idea. I mean, you need to know where they've been. You need to know if they've been covering any wounds. You need to know if everything is okay. You really, really do. And that reminds me of pain, actually. And you may be thinking, how does that remind you of pain? And in actuality, it doesn't really. I'm gonna necro this room. Ningle Dangles are annoying to kill. I don't have any damage ups. I'm playing spiky haired, awesome, sexy Eden, but that's still not quite enough. I'm not allowed to ram enemies uh, with my head. But I wanna talk a little bit of pain. You know when you get a splinter? When you get a splinter somewhere and you're like, damn it, I have a splinter. You know, it's horrible. They hurt, they're annoying. You don't wanna deal with any splinters. But you always have to go through this phase of, do I have a splinter? And for me, that phase is, I'm. Well, for example, I got one in my foot recently, and that phase is, I'm going to keep putting pressure on this foot, right? What a tinted rock to get, by the way, that is very convenient. I'm going to keep putting pressure on this rock, on this rock? Yeah, I, I found a rock, guys, it was actually insane. I am going to keep putting pressure on my foot. Ow, that really hurts. I've, okay. Very much an explosive run then. That's, I'm kind of cool with that. It really does help having that many bombs and it really suits Eden's hairstyle. I, I realize I keep jumping around the place with what I'm saying and I do apologize for that. It's just, things keep happening, okay? I'm actually just going to use a bomb. I think I can probably spare it, honestly. So yeah, my version of dealing with that is... Okay, that really hurt when I stood on the foot. Alright, I think I've probably got a splinter. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stand on it again though, just to make sure- Yep, yep, nope, nope, that still really hurts. But I should probably make sure again. I'm gonna- Yep, no, nope, that is very painful, but maybe one more time. And I did that for like two minutes. I don't really know what I was expecting to happen. Maybe I was gonna get used to the pain. Maybe I was going to develop splinter superpowers. Though a splinter superpower would be just- terribly useless. Either way, my objective is to get Bandage Girl and Meat Boy. Now, a good way of doing that is being Eden's Statement Book of Revelations, which was the attempt today, and then the other is basically finding Book of Revelations on the first two floors, and then the final one is breaking the run. And I don't want to do a run break. The only time I will break the run in order to get what I need is when it is the final two things. So until that point, I'm just going to be trying to get it in the kind of natural ways. I think that probably makes sense. Tears Up is very nice there. And our first boss is Pin, so that is excellent. So yeah, that is the current goal. It really, really is. So, yeah, pain everybody. A bit of good, glorious, glorious pain. But yeah, Splinter is a superpower? Not great. It's it's like, technically speaking, the superpower to have full control over the growth of your nails. It's technically a superpower if you can make your nails do stuff. Why a coat hanger? Two in a row? I mean, that's cool. It really is. I'm actually going to go to the shop. I've got the keys. I've got 12 money. My donation machine is just a source of money now because I have uh, all of the unlocks. And I've got 99 bombs, so let's not, let's not waste any potential. And the necro's not great, but, you know, it's kind of useful. And yeah, there we go. I think we can definitely use this shop to our advantage here. We'll grab that, and I, I want to buy the steam sale and then the black candle, which I'm going to, but this is kind of a big withdrawal from my shop bank here, which does upset me a little bit. In fact, we get given perfectly the right amount of money, so I thank you very much for that shop. I do appreciate it, but it makes me very happy to know that for an entire run from the start, from the very first floor, I'm not going to have to deal with any curses. It's so great. But yeah, the lameness of having your fingernails grow as a power. It is a lame power, but you've also got to understand, if we go down the One Piece school of thinking, now you don't need to have seen it, or even watch anime to get where I'm going with this. Basically, in One Piece, for those of you who don't know, people have kind of weird powers, such as a guy who can generate wax. And you may be thinking, 
great. Good for you, man. You can generate wax. Oh, no. Don't make a candle for me. Did it know I was going to have 99 bombs and just give me glorious rooms? Because it, it looks like it did. But the thing is, he learns to use the power. He can harden his body to, like, rock hard... Uh, rock hard wax he can make wax walls he can fire little shards of wax as like super sharp fast missiles you know we can really practice and learn it chronicle style to be really good that was very i just i very much want to get ah oh, i was trying so hard to get those chests without using my key but i guess it is not and i instantly find the item room i'm gonna necro this room just because they are very annoying to deal with and i think it's is a fairly valid use there. But yeah, so you can practice a power, and technically if you had full control over your fingernails, you could fire off shards of fingernails like, that's convenient, that key, like bullets, I suppose. And you know, you could do stuff with like that, but it doesn't change the fact that it's lame, but yes, it could technically be powerful. Experimental treatment at this stage in the game, I have two damage, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I'm going to go for it. We gain a health, we gain an extra bit of damage, our tears are still good, and we've got some range. So, I was very tempted to per throw that, but that was actually a pretty good uh, experimental treatment. So, I am happy with that one. So, yeah, what would be a actual really lame power, but is technically useful and you could do cool, not cool stuff, but, you know, you could kill people pretty easily, I guess, make be kind of powerful. Because with fingernails as well, you could quickly grow a wall of fingernails that would protect you from most things. You know, just little things like that. You could think of doing them, but it's still, you know, haha, <laughs> that guy's fighting with fingernails, how lame is that? That kind of impression. So I want to know powers that are actually lame by their nature, but technically kind of, well, powerful, if you get me. So I guess having the ability to summon torrents of tears, so you fight by crying loads, would be a pretty damn in instrumenting. You'd be pretty musical there. We get the blood clot, which is lovely, and a triple red chest devil deal, which, assuming these pills are good. Oh, that's a shame, but we did get a tears up pill, so really easy come, easy go, that is fine. And do I want to explore the rest of the floor? We could find a curse room. I have the health to go in. Wow, Eden looks very scary from the left here. Like, very scary. That blood clot eye. And then it's not even any better when he looks at you, because it's like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I put a candle on my head. <laughs> and I, I feel a little bit bad for him. I really, really do. But maybe that can be his weird superpower. So we do get an extra gold chest to open. So depending on what is in it, that is definitely worth it. And we get more stuff in here. Okay, well, who is glad that I explored the rest of the floor? But yeah, we're getting a lot of similarities to our last run, which is good because last run was really good. So I guess that's no bad thing. I love not having a squeaky chair, though. I really, really do, and you may be thinking, what, Squeak, squeaky chair, what, what, are you, what, are we, what are we talking about here, Age? And uh, my old chair, basically I got a new, nice, comfy office chair for my birthday, because I kind of needed one, because my old chair was old, I mean, I love my old chair, they grow on you to chairs, which is worrying, you should go to the doctors if you become a part of your chair, but it, it was tired, it needed a change, oh, the sun, but I would rather have a reroll on demand, it's, it's a lot more useful, but yeah. I needed a change, and my old chair, whenever I moved anything at all, used to squeak. And whenever I'm concentrating or talking, we'll get the champion's belt, a little bit of a damage up, why not? Whenever I'm concentrating or talking and stuff, my right leg tends to jiggle. I'm a jiggler, which sounds like a really bad sentence, and I'll appreciate it if you don't quote me on that. But it does, you know, I, my, my, my right leg, it goes up and down mental when I am concentrating. It's just something I do. I don't really know why. Guppy's tail is very nice to get. I'm happy about that. And those bombs are, I mean, not terribly useful. Either way, I do that. And whenever on my old chair, I used to do that with my leg, it used to squeak the chair. Which, as you can imagine isn't the most ideal thing when you're trying to make videos and all you can hear is squeak, squeak, squeak. It looks like I had a psychotic rat underneath me, which is never what you want. So getting this new chair has solved that problem and I can go back to having the world's spazziest leg. So really, that's an interesting tidbit for you all. Granted, I have no idea why I just told you that. Thanks a lot, self. 
Thanks an absolute lot. Just really, thanks a lot. But no, it is it is very good. So it's nice to not be squeaking. And it also makes everyone more willing to talk to me because they are envy. And not just any envy. Super goddamn envy. I really, really hate you. Like, like a lot. Like a sizable, a sizable amount. And then I want to... In fact, let's just, let's just necro the room, honestly. I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? I kind of want to deliberately Midas touch another one. I'm going to do that one just because it's a good amount of money and it makes the next shop really, really viable to have the ability to buy two items. So I think that is truly tactical damage there. So we gain literally nothing from that. So thanks very much, Super Envy. You are really, really hated. It, it must suck to be that hated, honestly. <sighs> And more gold chests we can't open. Granted, we only really want Cricket's head from them. I guess Guppy's head as well, because we have the tail. Really do need a key right here. Though it is nice to have this kind of damage this early. It's very, very good. I feel like we're doing a nice, solid amount. And we can definitely build on this. We only need a tiny bit more to push ourselves into the insane section of the graph because of course there is a damage graph i think that is apparent this is a key champion so that is uh, very useful do i go in the shop i'm gonna risk it yay my biscuit worked i hate you fire and we get dog food i'm tempted to per throw both of them like i'm actually very tempted to get a double per throw here because i'm not a fan of the necro i'm just not i'm gonna do it Let's re-roll, and we get ourselves the red candle, and we get the sharp plug, which isn't good, but we'll pick it up. I'm actually okay with that. I think that is probably profitable. We'll pick that up, because I'm confident I'm not going to accidentally get it removed. And Mum's pad. Should have checked the item room first. Probably should have done, but hey, guys! Hey, hey, guys. Surprise! Ah! You know... Isaac, there is one thing that you should not do. There really, really is, and that is and that is use Mum's pad as a weapon. It just It's very, very unruly of you. Okay, that is absolutely fine. That is okay over the Whoa! Whoa! Everybody calm down. The dingles are dangling and the leeches are firing. In fact, it's kind of a horrific room, because not only do you have to be con constantly spatially aware of everything going on around you. But you have to also be aware of two things recklessly charging towards you at all times. So that really does kind of suck. Polly for Polly for Pol is absolutely A-OK. -okay. Annoyingly took damage there. I thought he would stop firing by that stage. And that is good. A few more. And there it is. So very, very stable fight there. Although that was a bit of lame damage to take. Angel Room! Halo is absolutely fine. Fine, actually, you know, I'd forgotten it was part of the angel room pool, which seems really stupid. I mean, we'll take Isaac's head because we don't have another trinket. And it does seem very stupid to forget that the actual halo is a drop from the angels. But, you know, you're used to seeing it in item rooms and just randomly about the place. But now that I've remembered, it is one of the best items to get from any given angel room, isn't it? So we got our divine there. That is a okay. And another chest. What do you have? Uh, Tammy's head. I mean, we do have a very powerful Tammy's head setup, but the candle is a lot of damage. So I'm gonna keep the candle. I haven't had the candle in a while, and I'm kind of okay with it. And we do have a judgment, but I doubt we'll actually use it. So I mean. Haha! -ha! Oh, I wanted it to be a devil judgment and then just have it to the left, to the right of the angel, and it's just like, I'm a really evil devil, and you're really <laughs> evil. Wait a minute, where, where, where am I? And the angel's like, is that a free mark? Mark my words, that is good. Very, very good. Our damage is growing exponentially. That is, well, that is exemplary. It really, really is. Just... Phenomenal, indubitably so. Alright, so yeah, the devil is just like sat there, like evil laughing under his breath, and the angel's like, Are you serious? 
who the hell bought this piece of shit into my angel room? Like, who, who the hell do you think you are? I will kill you. I will kill you, right? I will get back in this room. And then, of course, we left to the next floor. So they're just going to have a nice, happy reality show adventure, I think. And, you know, that's wonderful. I mean, you'd watch it, wouldn't you? You'd, you'd watch Gabe and Abe, the angel and demon. I imagine Abe is, of course... The devil and Gabe shot for Gabriel the angel. It makes sense. Item room. Daddy's love. This is a very good run. I mean, there's nothing to complain about. We've got a lot of health. We've got a lot of damage. We've got a lot of fun items. We've got a lot of useful items. We can fire fire, which I'll admit isn't the greatest space bar because we don't really need it. Maybe I should have kept the necro. I just couldn't resist a double reroll. And honestly, everything's pretty damn fine. We get the compass. So the end really is near. And yeah, let's let's even up our donation machine. I mean, I realize it's just actually pointless for me to put anything in there. But I kind of, it's become so second nature to me, I kind of can't resist. We are going to be very low on keys. But if we keep getting good items at the pace that we are doing, then, I mean, really, I'm going to go the lamb. Just because we've not seen Mr. Lammy Boy in a while. And I think that is totally fine. We found everything of worth on this floor, and we still have 99 bombs. I mean, that feels like last run with the items we've been getting. Paralysis, absolutely A-OK. -okay. And we may just use these bombs because we can see where Isaac is, or the devil, of course, if we do go that route. We may just bomb skip our way there. I don't think there's a reason not to. Kane's eye, I'm going to keep because I don't need Isaac's head damage, so I'd rather have the ability to just see any given floor I end up on. The husk is just basically a normal enemy at this stage. And we get the lipstick, which isn't actually horrible because our range was pretty horrible. So that's fine. Now we're up to the next floor. We are making very good time. We've got really powerful here. And our item room and boss room are both pretty damn close to us. You know what? I'm just going to bomb out of here. I don't care. You think I care? I don't care. Like, distinct lack of care going on in the vicinity. These bomb flies are just more used to me than they are the enemy. And not only we didn't get anything out of that skull, that's a very nice chest. That's a little bit scary. An invisible magnetic enemy. I mean, you don't want one of them in real life. You don't want to get in a fight in, like, an alleyway. You don't want a mugger to pull out a knife, and then suddenly you're just, like, thrown towards him with some sort of weird alien force, and then you find yourself a little bit stabbed. Only a little bit. Only, you know, only a couple inches. I don't know where I'm going with this. Poop bombs! I mean, we have 99 bombs, so we may as well have our butt blasts going on. Just, why the hell not? Oh, it's like I knew it would happen. I did, I did actually know it would happen. I am a psychic Isaac player. I really, really am. There is nothing that I miss. I am like a hawk. Like Sherlock Holmes himself was here with his observational skills. That's why I didn't miss that tinted rock. So you can delete that comment, Stephen. And still no cricket's head, but we made keys on that chest. So that makes me happy. We'll go in the item room because, again, we are technically looking for the stopwatch. We have not picked it up yet. Though that would make everything laughably... Is that it? Or is that broken? I can't actually tell. Oh, it's the broken one. That's a shame. I, I think I just wanted it to be the real one so bad that I just couldn't control myself. There's options is obviously fantastic. I love not having to care about the donation machine. I mean, it was great fun getting it to 999. It was a lovely objective. But now it really is a, as long as you have the bombs, you can buy anything you want on any run ever until you run out of money. Which is like having a trust fund on my Isaac runs, which is... Pretty damn cool. Uh, no, I don't want that chest anymore. I was like, why didn't I get that chest? And then I went back for it, and then the game went, this is why. We got ourselves a double trouble. Double fallen, I would actually kind of like. Oh, double haunt, but they are slow. That is a shame. And by a shame, I mean... <laughs> they are going to get so slaughtered. It is... Oh, look at them. Look at them trying to get to me. Isn't that so adorable? That was incredibly satisfying, and two very good bar- Oh! Yes! It has happened, Sacred Heart. I have not seen you in so long. 
we are about to destroy. We are, we are going, you know, we are got Angel Wings, Sacred Heart, the Halo. We are going to be the Holy Avenger, and we are going to go kill the lamb. I don't even care. We are, we're going. We're, this is happening. I want to get to mum. I want to do the boss rush. I want to annihilate the boss rush. There is just so much that is happening with this run now. It is, I mean, we have Sacred Heart. What more do we want? The damage is pumped. Everything is great. I don't care about money. Don't care about your name. Don't care where you're from. All I care about is how you're going to die like a bitch. Like, this has very much become a lovely speed run for me. It really, really has. Honestly, the seed, I keep forgetting. W33Y49HJ. I hope I remember in the description so you can play along with this one. Because this is a pretty damn good run. Okay. I mean, not really what I'd like at this stage. I shouldn't have even picked that up. It just makes me look a little bit worse. I guess we'll go in the curse room while we can do so for free to... Ch I mean, yeah, that's a quality curse room. I am on a very, very big time limit if I want to make this boss rush. And that is a shame. That is a massive shame. We actually killed it as fast as it took that bomb to bomb me out of there. Which is really good, I'll admit, but at the same time, it's kind of a little bit in my face. Again, don't really care about the money. I guess the only way this could get better is if I found the actual stopwatch. I'm going to have to bomb my way through to the fight, otherwise I am just simply not going to... Do I have... Does Sacred Heart apply to my bombs? Or am I going crazy? Because I don't have homing bombs. That seems a little bit annoying, actually. Yeah, I can't physically bomb my way out of rooms because my bombs are going to walk away from the door. You know, I'd never thought I'd have to be in a position where I'm upset that my bombs are trying too hard to kill the enemy, so I can't kill the enemy. It, it seems a very weird problem to have, yet it's one I'm apparently having, so I guess new problems do really arise every day. And we get greed. Oh no, goodbye greed. You tried. You did really try. I don't know why I'm picking up this money. Actually pointless. Go, 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 go. I know there's a few things I've missed. There's a key. There's... Actually, I've been in the shop, curse room, and item room. So apart from that one key, I am very much cool to do this. Okay, we have seconds here. Come on. Wherever you appear, you need to get wrecked. Ten seconds, please. There it is. We get our boss rush. Oh, oh. Oh, prop toe. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is absolutely insane. That kind of damage is insane. My tears are giant. I am happy. I just do not even need to use the red candle. Uh, something appeared there. I, I mean, I'm not sure what it actually is or what it did, but there was technically a boss that appeared in that spot. Loki was there, Blastasis, I mean, I don't really know what your plan is at all, honestly, it's just, you can't do anything. Gemini tried, Steven tried, they all tried, they all think that they can beat me, but they don't know, they don't know the answer. I am so glad we got in this boss rush, that has made this run so much better. I mean, look at these tears! Look at these tears. I mean, we did have to give up going in the devil room, but I think we're okay. I think we can live with that. I really, really do. I mean, I don't really want to take any devil rooms. This is very much a holy avenging run of awesome. And having the blood clot as well makes this fantastic. Yeah, we are beyond slaughtering. Like, they are spawning in and just getting so cleaved by everything. And there it is. And we got the champion one, which is much easier to kill. It beams a lot more, so it stands still. We are really concentrating the blood of these guys in one spot, which is great. Did Pin die instantly? I think Pin just died instantly. We did make a golden burrow, so that's something we got going for us. Do we have a champion? I feel like we actually have a champion boss rush. Yeah, we do. That's a champion bloat, which is just... Not good in any respect, actually. Did not see those for some reason. And in fact, we have the kind of health and health on the ground that I do not need to worry about taking damage in the slightest. So, really, this is all pretty much fine. Hey, Death, how are you doing? And by how are you doing, I mean enjoy the afterlife. Oh, look, the Fallen was there for a few seconds, I guess. This is good. This is just... <laughs> oh... Ooh, 
fire mind or do I want to turret shoot them? I think... I think I want to turret shoot them. I think that'll be more fun. Yeah, look at that. that is literally a beam of tears. That is so, so good. Let's go say hi to the lamb. I think we should definitely go see how he's doing. It's it's only fair. Straight up then, are you my friend? I am coming straight for you. I mean, there is nothing that could even slightly stop me at this point, is there? There just, there just isn't. I guess I should get that key. I should not play too recklessly in my excitement. Um, I kind of... <laughs> That's a very, very interesting way of attacking, I will admit. I could do with piercing and spectral. That would be a little bit good on top of this. Then every room really just would be true annihilation. But there's not really much to complain about. Do not need bombs. I mean, I feel like 91 is probably an acceptable amount of bombs to have. Oh no, you tried to shoot me. Oh... Oh, I really want to find Cricket's head. And Magic Mushroom was there as well, but Proptosis is a bigger, just pure damage increase. So I had to go for it. I just did. Skolex and the slow Skolex. We might actually be able to damage him uh, as he appears in the ground for a little bit. We are getting a little bit off, but not a fantastical amount. Come on, Skolex. Don't be afraid. I'm kidding. You should be very, very afraid. Well, that's blame on a lot of fronts, just some HP up, but, you know, it's fine. I can't believe with there's options we got two HP ups. To be fair, it is very likely to happen because there are a lot of HP ups, so I don't know why I'm that surprised. I guess I'm not surprised, more just disappointed. Look down, a little bit late for that. Let's see who our poor hapless victim in this room is. It was indeed rough. Let's get this tinted rock. I don't know. I'm just very, very pumped. This is really very much the Holy Avenger run, and I like that. It's, it's you know, I've not had the chance yet in my life to become a Holy Avenger. It's, you know, it's on my list of things to do. It's what I got planned later on, but for the most part, it's not something I've really made any progress towards. I mean, I'm still working on the Acquire Divine Powers part, so this is a nice little preview. Though I'd ideally not be able to do my Holy Avenging by firing tears out my eyes. That wouldn't be. In fact, that very much goes with what we were talking about earlier. Honestly, I mean, it's a useful power, as you can see. We're destroying everything, but at the same time, it's a little bit... It's a little bit lame. Okay, Satan. Get ready for these! Off we pop. This is destruction. This is absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless. Okay, these guys ain't no problem to me. Lovely. Over on here. Yeah, that's okay as well. There we go. Get that going. Ooh, a load of fires. Actually, I just realized, why didn't I check where Satan was? I was just, I was just so excited to be doing things and killing everybody that I just didn't realize that I should probably check. Wealth of wealth is not really needed in the slightest, so we do need to go through this big room, which is a shame. Ah, it's just the Fallen. What is the Fallen gonna do? Absolutely nothing. Was it too Fallen? No, it's a dark one as well. Okay. I wonder how dark this dark one is. Pretty damn dark, though he did seem to just fly through a fire, which I, I don't think is conductive to, like, safety as a dark one. Was he firing the second I walked into the room? Because it looked like it. Actually, actually I should just let... I should just let uh, my daddy's love take care of him, which is still a really weird... Like, if anyone was listening, just going, I'm just gonna let daddy's love take care of this guy. What is... What is he doing in there? Is he, is he okay? Nah, he's just, you know, he's just a flying baby using daddy's love for great justice. No, that's not any better. No, you're going to have to explain a little bit more than that, friend. You're going to have to really, really let me know. Um, I mean, there's, that's, there's not much else to say. That really is. I guess he's firing giant blood tears from his eyes. Does that make it any better? No. No, that doesn't actually make it any better. Can I do it for once? So close. So... So close to actually doing it, but also so far away, I actually can't really see the tears. <laughs> I just had to guess 
and dodge wherever I felt just looked kind of best there. So that was wonderful. Want to do as much damage as quickly as possible because Satan fight is very much a it will slowly wear you down before you can kill the boss type deal. And my health is perhaps a little bit worrying, but not really that much. We're probably going to get items on the dark room, so it should be okay. And the lamb looks pretty close, though it's probably deceptive. Hey, spiders. Thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. So that was just an overall shocking amount of goodness from those chests. Really, really terrible. I'm not entirely sure how I didn't take damage there. Like, I am really, really not, but I didn't, and that is good. I mean, like, there is a really good moment in this game when you realize that you have just got incredibly powerful, and you're like, it is on, and you can just go for it, and it is glorious. Crack the sky, you can, can go kill itself in preferably the fires of hell. Like, that item got buffed, and you didn't even notice. Like, it's just so bad. It should be good, because it's so effective when Isaac does it. But no, Isaac gets all the advantages that were prevented from someone else. Split shot. Split freaking sacred heart proptosis. Yes, please. Yes, please. I mean, I guess we'll have Gemini. He can be our holy avenger friend. He can be helping us holy avenge and stuff like that. Either way, I believe the lamb is very much going to learn the meaning of Christmas here as he dies. We do have the hematosis gained us health there, I think. So that's actually pretty good. And our final room is a mask of infamy, which would have been really scary and stuff, if not for the fact that I am death itself. Okay, lammy boy. Bad trip? Ah, whatever. Prepare to face thine maker in the holy vengefulness of avenging turn. Oh, you think you can separate from your body? Taste my flames! Oh, something. I don't really. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Okay. That was a little bit close at the end there. May have got too carried away. <laughs> actually, my heart, that actually scared me a little bit. My aim has been raged. That was the holy avenging. Remember to like if you enjoyed it. It really does help. And subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye.